This is Twilight Star and they're watching Concrete Music TV. And another scientific question that's picking my brain. This is a business structure question. How do you choose content overpaid? Content overpaid? Well, see, here's the thing. There's a lot of people out there who don't who do porn and they don't want to do content because you don't get paid right on the spot versus doing a shoot but you do a shoot for someone and you get paid a couple of quarters and then they go ahead and make like lots of money off of it so you really are kind of cheating yourself I mean it helps you put your name out there and people see you but content you're more in control of what you could do with it so um, you take the content and you make your own money off of it like you shouldn't think about getting paid right then and there that's a problem with a lot of people you got to think about the long run so um, content and you know I'll be picky about it you know you should do content with someone who's going to help boost your career and um, who's gonna help put you out there so I think that's the difference between picking content over paid shoots how fans can reach out to you? Uh, Twilight Star with two R's dot com. Twilight Star Triple X on Twitter. And I'm on Instagram too. Twilight Star Triple X. When you're not doing porn, what is it you like to do? Well, I like doing this. I like to travel. Um, before I was here, I was in New York. And then, um, I'm planning on for the tour that I'm putting together, the first city to be maybe Dallas or Houston, maybe go down to Florida or back to New York. So um, I like to travel. Um, I like movies. I like to go to the movies. Um, I like to eat. <laughs> and most of the time, relax. I, I get all the rest that I can. So that's important to me. Fan recognition in this industry, such as the Avians, the BBW Fan Fest Awards, the Urban X, the XRCOs, what does that mean to you? I mean, it does give you fan recognition. There's a lot of people, uh, those award shows are really, really, really important to them. Like, they take those shows to heart. Um, what do you say? Avian? Avian's kind of gone down the drain a little bit, maybe a lot of bit. <laughs> um, there is a complaint out there that there's not enough uh, recognition for the African Americans who are in the business. So uh, that would be an issue. Um, what else is there? So BBW Fan Fest, this was the first time around, um, and to me it ran all, like perfectly. Um, they did a good job recognizing pretty much all the all, 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 I'm not gonna say all but a majority of the BBWs they did recognize um, and I feel like the ones who won they deserve their awards um, Urban X ooh, I'm not going this year <laughs> And this is what 2012 Urban X Awards. I'm not going this year. There's a lot of people not going this year. Um, it's been just too organized. It's been labeled as ghetto. Um, I don't know. It's just I don't know. And then you do have a lot of the the white I would say performers who just don't understand how they're nominated for an Urban X Award. And they'll say it too. They're like, I'm nominated for an Urban X Award. I don't see how, but I am. And uh, there was a winner last year who said she doesn't understand how she won and she's a white chick. So, uh, I don't know. They, they either need to, I don't know what they need to do. Maybe stop having it. <laughs> That's just my opinion. An opinion of a few others. They just probably won't say it. How's your fan response been when you do public appearances such as trade shows like the Avian, the Exotica, and the BBW Fan Fest? What was that feeling like 
Uh, well, well, we did go to um, Exotica in Miami, and there was a BBW booth there, and the the fans were actually real open to it. Like they were really receptive of it. They were excited that the BBWs were there, and uh, there's a lot of people out there. Basically, this is how it goes. There's a lot of people out there who like fat girls. They adore fat girls, BBWs, but a lot of them don't want to let their friends know or their associates know that they like fat girls but there's a ton of people out there who like fat girls so um like i said it was a good it was a good receptive and then um you know people come up to me and they recognize me and um that's a good feeling that your fans come out and recognize you even other performers you know i had a couple of performers well actually a few performers especially here at fan fest meet me and they're like delighted to meet me so um it, it's it's pretty decent um a decent like i said um you know people receiving the bbws at these uh trade well trade shows i guess you can call them What's your long-term ultimate goal in this business? Right now, I'm a little on the fence about it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I had a little, I guess, small little rants a few days ago deciding on what I want to do. But um, a long-term goal is definitely um, producing my own material. That would be long-term. And I would advise anyone who's serious about it and wants to make a long-term career goal out of it to produce your own material that's the best way to do it